Your blood has healing components such as these platelets, as well as growth factors and nutrients, as well as plasma. These can be concentrated down and injected into damaged knees, the rotator cuff and shoulder, the elbows such as tennis elbow, the hands and the wrists, even the spine, cervical, thoracic, and lumbar, as well as pelvis and hips, and the TMJ. At Gecko, we also use Honey Matrix, which can make PRP work better. In some cases, we consider adipose stem cells because fat has such a high population of stem cells. Using the stem cells from bone marrow is also very powerful along with PRP. Gecko is one of the first clinics to actually offer bone marrow and adipose combined together in the same treatment. At Gecko Joint and Spine, we can both diagnose your problem as well as guide our injections to precisely the right area using high definition ultrasound. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's why you got this is This is the honey matrix. Here. So what we're talking about is this painting, as I do a little art, is, uh, is a painting of PRP. And all of this like spaghetti material is called fibronectin. And these are red blood cells. And these purple dots are platelets, see? And then this is our mascot, the gecko, <laughs> right? The gecko joins the spine. Right. Yeah. So when we do honey matrix, which we, we did with you, mm -hmm. we took the water out of the plasma where we concentrated this netting material, which it made a tighter weave. Okay. So it, it, it created what's called scaffold. And that's really important when you're when you're trying to regenerate tissues, especially tissues like in your knee that are going to be weight-bearing. Yeah. Your hip, your yeah. ankles, your yeah. lower back, things like that. So this makes a mattress padding. Yeah, right. Uh, Last time I saw you, because you've been up north, you were in cr crutches. Well, a cane, and, okay. and sometimes I'd use the crutches if I wanted to move faster. And that was because of your knee? Because of my knee. And it was bone on bone, mm -hmm. and the physicians had said the only thing I could do was have a knee replacement. Mm -hmm. There was no other solution, so I went to Dr. Walter's workshop, mm -hmm. and then I saw both of them, you know. Mm -hmm. The idea of somebody putting a needle in me without ultrasound, mm -hmm. no way, because I'd had a needle put in my spine for surgery, Mm -hmm. and they hadn't put it in the right place and it nearly paralyzed me. Mm -hmm. I had more pain from that than I did from the surgery. Mm -hmm. And um, so I said, no way, nobody's going to do this without guiding. Guidance. Yeah, guidance. Mm -hmm. So I came to you mm -hmm. and that was just before I left to go back. It was so only about, about like ten weeks. months ago that yeah. you had your procedure. And I but think my then I went down to Warm Mineral Springs uh, with a friend, and I'd left my shoes back down under the chair, and I was back up at the main, you know, this looked like a hill going down. Mm -hmm. And I said, ooh, I forgot my shoes, and I practically ran down to get it. She could not believe it, because she remembers me hobbling down with a cane, mm -hmm. you know, that here I am, racing down to get my shoes and come back. That's then I get on the plane, no cane, no problem, you know, Mm -hmm. got on the plane, but then I went back to my home in Vermont, and I live up in the mountains. I have 40 acres, mm -hmm. a great big, you know, vegetable gardens, all kinds of stuff. And it was getting a large driveway, and it was getting very, everything was covered with weeds, it was a mess. Mm -hmm. I did the whole thing. I dug out roots, I wow. couldn't believe, using that knee with the shovel, digging out the roots. And you were you and were you were I bone was down on bone down on my knees, weeding and everything. And you were All bone on bone, yes. and you were suggested bone to do surgery, bone. and right. you were using a cane. Right. And this is just after one of our one PRP. Yeah, that's amazing. And then, <laughs> for heaven's sakes, <laughs> do it. You know, look into it. I mean, come on. Do you know that if I had had a new knee replacement, I would not be allowed to get down on my knees. How do you think I would weed that garden and do all the things I was doing? You wouldn't. I would have made my back worse Yeah. all the time. Yeah. I have to get down on my knees. I've always done that. And some of those surgeries don't pan out all that well. Right. We see a no, lot of No, they those. don't. We see, no. a lot, we see a lot of people here where they had one knee replacement, mm. and they come to us because they do not want to go through that again. Yeah. 
because it was really oh my very difficult. I know. I have a friend at home that had it done. I said, so, Diane, how do you like it? Oh, she said, I can't get down on my knees anymore. I can't. She's got cancer now. But mm -hmm. anyway, not that that was the cause of it, but I think the trauma. Mm -hmm. I really think the stress and the trauma, you know, to go that, through that That would be stressful, yeah. My son, you know, I thought I was going to be a guinea pig for him to come. I may have mentioned that to you. I'm going to be a guinea pig for my son because he's got two bad knees. Mm -hmm. So he would not. And he said, Mom, don't get a replacement. He doesn't know anybody who is happy they did. For more information about these exciting regenerative therapies, you can find us at advancedrejuvenation.us. You can also contact us by phone at 941-330-8553 or email us at info at advancedrejuvenation.us. If you found the information on this video helpful, please like us and share us on Facebook. You just never know whose life you might touch. Well, thanks for joining us. And remember, if healing is possible, consider it to be within your reach. Bye for now.